Hi everybody, welcome to your weekly angel card reading for Beacons of Angel Aid. This is the week beginning August 7, 2017. Crazy. So we're starting the week with a full lunar eclipse in Aquarius. And eclipses are all about endings and beginnings. Where there is the end of one cycle is the beginning of another. So, um, this particular, because it's an Aquarius, Aquarius is the sign who sees things light years ahead. Oh my gosh, and like I'm getting the downloads as it's happening. So, lots of people are experiencing different ascension uh, symptoms like extra tinglys coming from the, the spine or the crown area, um, ocular migraines, perhaps even the ringing in the ears, weird stuff like that. Um, so it's like we're, we're going to have two of them this month. And this very first one happens to be a lunar eclipse preparing us for the solar eclipse. Um, and so it comes with a lot of cosmic downloads, a new way of seeing and handling things. Um, it's time to really like we're the light workers, so we have a tendency to want to take care of those around us and be the fixer uppers. And we always have like the light to bestow, but it's actually time to take care of yourself, darling. And that applies to me too. Um, so be extra nice to yourself, be your own best friend. Um, because there is new programming that's taking place inside of the brain, a new way of seeing things the way that I was saying. There's brain waves that are being thrown at us from the cosmos, thoughts that hadn't occurred to us perhaps, or maybe they had, but we weren't ready yet, and now we are ready. So it's a new attitude. It's much more humorous, actually, um, and we're tuning into being lighthearted within everything, every ounce of messed upness for not saying something else you know um, so we're really strongly being encouraged to abandon all the attitudes all the situations the peoples that are no longer serving our highest good um, pay attention to when you're with someone who's leaving you feeling recharged and who's feeling you depleted it's really important because that's how you're going to decipher uh, who needs to go um, I have little note cards here for myself to keep myself kind of like oh, otherwise we'll go on a tangent forever so um, yeah mercury is gonna go into retrograde August 12th those of you who are extremely sensitive or going to be feeling it already this week last week mercury in retrograde starts um august 12th all the way through september 5th so i wanted to mention that and i'm not saying it's so that you'll be scared i'm saying it's so that you'll already be tuning into the fact that you need to finish things no more new beginnings after august 12th um you know like new projects and things like that it's time to focus on the old ones and get that stuff out of the way it's reassess reevaluate relax reconsider re 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 is what you're doing during a mercury retrograde um and if you are trying to put something out there <clears throat> lots of us are trying to get stuff out there you want to take this week to get it out there and let it be done don't wait for perfection now is the time get it done archangel michael's like yes no 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 hurry up don't wait for perfection who cares just get it done before the mercury retrograde because then you're gonna be stuck until the mercury finally goes back into the direct position out of the shadow period oh my gosh it's gonna take until the end of the year so um not till the end of the year but you know like just get a move on things do it this week um yeah. Or you're going to find yourself fighting the current. It's going to suck. So, also, there is... It's Aquarius, guys. It's an eclipse in Aquarius. So, Aquarius is this lighthearted, super fun, joyous, misunderstood character. And it's time to celebrate. Good things are going on. So, take the time. Make the time to celebrate. 
um, because life is happening now. Life is, you know, you have to make the time to celebrate too. Um, there's also opening for new relationships of all kinds. It could be romance, business, friendship, any kind of relationship. Um, be playful. Allow your inner child to come out and play. I, uh, I like to belly dance. I love to belly dance. So, I don't know, do things that you like to do. If you like to run, if you like to be on the swings, if you like to, I don't know, wrestle or, God, play volleyball on the beach or, I don't know, play dominoes, uh, Monopoly, whatever it is that you like to do, do that, write, be creative. Um, yeah, Archangel Michael's telling me about writing, uh, music, uh, dancing, uh, all of the creative because in loving your creativity you are loving your creator your source where you came from so do what it is that makes your heart smile um okay so i was talking about in the last video and sorry i missed last week just things have been really crazy and intense um we want to clear out the slate with the manifestations we want to be very clear and clear out that slate so that we have a blank slate, a new chapter with the universe and really focus on your heart's true desires. That way all of the previous manifestations are null and void. We don't want that anymore. Not things that we asked for 20 years ago, 10 years ago, what have you. Um, be bold, be specific with your request and your manifestations. Um, live authentically. I can't stress that enough because Living authentically and vibrating your true authentic self is love. Loving yourself, being in harmony with your entire self, every facet of yourself. Be authentically you. It's a wonderful person and, and will embrace it. Um, and don't apologize for being yourself. You know, the sun doesn't apologize for blinding us on the way to work. Um, so what else? Yeah, it's with the downloads that we're receiving from everything with the eclipses still oncoming with the solar eclipse that we're going to receive a lot of these downloads are very liberating of a feel fearful mind state um so just be bold be empowered be empowered um the downloads are intense and rightfully so because we've been so heavily indoctrinated to see ourselves as incapable, as unworthy, as da 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 da. So really that's null and void. Let's cancel out all of those previous manifestations and focus on going forward. You know, this is how I want my reality to be. And let's make it happen. Have that vision. Share the vision. We all love each other. Loving one another is loving yourself. So with that thought, I'm going to pull a card from Dorian Virtue and Raleigh Valentine's Angel Tarot cards. Um, and I'm actually going to stick with just the Archangels for this particular week. Yeah, um, I'm also being encouraged to tell you guys to bring out your crystals. Bring out your crystals. Um, perhaps you have a clear crystal quartz or a uh, rose quartz or a... These are the only ones I want you to use. Clear crystal quartz, rose quartz, amethyst, or citrine. You can wash it your stone with water and soap like you would your dishes and put spring water or distilled water into a glass recipient with your crystal it could be a jar or whatever and leave it beneath the moon of the eclipse that night the following day when the sun and the moon are both out at the same time drink your moon elixir set your intentions into the water set the love into the water because believe me the water receives look it up I'm not crazy. The water receives the vibration that you intend, that you impose on to it. And that's why you're supposed to pray over your food. So, psh, psh, psh. <sighs> so Michael says I have to put it down. There we go. Is it one?
All right, we got three angels. So we got the first one is number six, the lovers. It's like sexual healing. It's number six, Archangel Raphael. And he's the heart chakra, he's the healer. It's green energy that's coming from the heart chakra. It's a lot of love in a relationship. It's peace, balance, harmony. It's um, carefully weighing out your decisions and experiencing good health. So a lot of you guys going to doctor's visits are gonna go well or you know exams or things like that. They're gonna be better than anticipated. Um, but it's also, it's got that intimate relationships type of undertone to it because it is the lovers. So that's going to be in this week, like I had previously mentioned, it is a time where we're open to relationships. Um, so the next card, this makes perfect sense. I was talking about it with the downloads. We got Archangel Gabriel and it's an awakening. You see Archangel Gabriel is in that upside down position. Like when you're watching TV in the upside down position as a child, maybe you were hanging off of the sofa, like up, completely upside down watching the TV. And that's what Archangel Gabriel is doing, taking a totally different perspective and looking at something from a different angle where now it's possible to perceive, to understand it in such a way because you saw it from this particular angle. Um, so it's important to be authentic, to be yourself, and take a temporary standstill. I'm already talking about Mercury retrograde, and here Archangel Gabriel is ready to help us through it. So we got Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Raphael. All right, guys. And then we got Archangel Zadkiel, the need for balance, moderation, cooperation, and compromise. There's also the perfect timing. So this is about either spending too much or working too much or giving too much or not. Or, <laughs> gosh, you get, there's an imbalance somewhere and you guys know what it is. So Archangel Zadkiel wants to help you find it and seek out balance in your life again. And he's going to help you find the perfect timing for whatever it is that you're talking about or that you need to get out. Okay, compromise, cooperation, communication. Guys, it's going to be a crazy week. Um, so hang on to your pants because you signed up for it. And let me know how it goes for you. Mwah. I love you all. Love yourselves and love everybody around you. Don't forget, if you didn't already click subscribe, let's do that. That way you get notified every time I put out a video. It's like random. I might just put out a video about like, let's open the third eye together. I love you. Mwah.